What's up guys, Kevin Cage here, hope all is well, be sure to watch until the end of this video if you are interested to learn about Elgo, and let's get right into it. So I'm going to do my best to get through this video one take uncut, got a big date night with the lady, and appreciate your guys' patience. This may be a little bit out of order, as always, I'm going to provide all of these links that I go over regarding some big partnerships that Elgo and the Algorand Foundation are working on, and I will put these in the top of the video description. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Algorand, Algorand Foundation has some very deep ties, specifically with groups such as MIT and of also Circle of Jeremy Oler, one of the biggest fintech groups for cryptocurrency in particular. I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. And the Algorand Foundation also has some investments from Arrington Capital. Michael Arrington said to be, you know, a lot of people say him and Brad Garlinghouse are best friends. And I really like the guy. Very bold, says what he wants. And you guys may not agree, but I'm really interested in this type of technology. So Algorand is another blockchain, it is proof of stake, that is aiming to solve this blockchain trilemma in terms of security, scalability, and decentralization, trying to get the best of all three worlds into one instead of having trade-offs. So notice right here on Algorand.com, we have frictionless finance. You're going to see a lot of terms revolving around Algorand regarding this borderless economy breaking down barriers you know linking all of these disparate networks just like you see with a lot of projects what makes algo different well of course the scalability is already quite high they're planning to increase scalability tenfold as well really really interesting of course the fees are right where i want them to be and if you guys paid attention i'll usually talk about algo q and h bar a few you know assets that i like that i'm comfortable at least talking about because of their strong fundamentals and you know we've seen what we've seen a one million dollar us transaction over usdc that runs on algo as well on that chain we've seen a one billion dollar euro transaction go over algo as well so really exciting to see this type of technology being built and a crazy thing is and if you guys caught i think it was last year maybe it was earlier this year apologies we had tony from thinking crypto had an interview with the gentleman from algorand and they talked about of course the marshall islands building their cbdc their central bank digital currency on this protocol they hired a technology provider to go hunt and i believe it was sfb and they went around to look for the best platform to do so and they chose algorand or algorand very very interesting we can also talk about the founder of algorand foundation silvio micali one of the greatest cryptographers in the world he is on the mit faculty he was one of the founders or co-founders of Zero Knowledge Proofs as well. We can look at the reputable people behind this team and the backing of, you know, the advisors and board. The same thing I do with like Ripple, XRP, R3. A lot of these groups, I look on, you know, I look at Circle, Coinbase. I'm looking at all these chess pieces moving at play because we understand that when you invest in an asset, you are investing in the network. And when you're investing in the network, you're investing in the people. That is what we invest upon, or at least what I think. We are investing in people so i'm looking for strong fundamentals i'm looking at the charts even when i zoom out you know it removes doubt i'm a lot more confident in this asset i would recommend familiarizing yourself with the tokenomics and how they're distributing everything each year pay attention to that some people will misconstrue everything as fud other people will misconstrue everything as hype so just take it all with a giant grain of salt as king solomon says all right so let's start going through all of this. So I have a few things I want to go through. Essentially, here's a few examples. So we have Mel transforms gold into a digital asset with Algorand. So this was back in April. We have Dust Identity partners with Algorand to offer a physical binding to blockchain and to ensure authenticity. So not only are these partnerships, but there's also development going on. This is what I look for in projects to ensure that there's actual sustainability to the network. And I do believe that, of course, like many assets and networks, as algo increases in price everybody wants that it's a win-win for algorand foundation for mit for all initial investors like arrington capital because they want the value of the network to appreciate it is in their best interest as well whether that is slow and steady or quickly that's up to you but i do believe in this network compared to others and nothing is guaranteed but all we can do is keep sticking to what we know all right so algorand partners with world chess as well we'll go through each of these just so you know just want to kind of preface this we have italian society of authors and publishers partnering with algorand to develop copyright management a variety of use cases a variety of you know sectors as well very very interesting right here the international blockchain monetary reserve ibmr.io launches southeast asia microfinance platform and token on algorand 2.0 we also know that algorand migrated away from erc20 off the ethereum network now 
I don't know if you guys are huge Ethereum fans. I'm a fan of utility and innovation and anything that drives better technology. So yes, for that fact or for that matter, I love Ethereum due to that. But I also know that it has limitations. Can it solve them? Potentially. But I'm looking at assets that are building off of it as well. So I'm not trying to create FUD and saying Algo or VeChain or you know ADA or any other asset is going to destroy Ethereum. I'm, I don't really like the terminology, you know, Ethereum killer, XRP killer. What I think is, are they going to be helping create this world that will turn into the Internet of Value? All right. So we have right here this microfinance platform. We have also on assetblock.com. As soon as you go to the website, um, we can see a better investment access quality real estate investments formerly reserved for institutional investors. Really, really cool. Obviously, this is about inclusion, leveling the playing field, all these narratives you're used to hearing on my channel. Notice innovation with Algorand's technology at our core. So it's not just a little part. It is the core of their technology here. We're bringing accountability and efficiency to real estate investment. We believe in contributing to a global borderless economy. So this was the terminology I was alluding to. If you guys do a lot of research with Algorand, you should see this term or even a hashtag on Twitter a lot. All right. I don't know if you guys watch the new Karate Kid, but every time I say hashtag, I'm tempted to say uh, hash brown. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> All right. Next, right here, Planet Watch. This is a part of CERN or CERN. We'll go over this as well. Complete seed round to further real time air quality monitoring on Algorand. I mean, we have gold out of you know Australia. We have groups in London. We have Asia with microfinance. It's just never ending. So very, very interesting. So let's get through this. And one of the first articles I want to point you towards and just give a shout out is this gentleman who wrote this medium article. And yes, I'm aware medium articles are not the most, you know, resourceful or trustworthy sources, but everything's linked and you guys can do your own research and decide for yourselves. So of course, I'll have all these links together and I recommend going through this. You don't even have to watch the video if you don't want to, but I want to kind of give you my two cents about things I've seen with Algo. All right. So right here. Algorand versus Ethereum, a serious contender to the world's number one decentralized application network. And also all of this rise of DeFi is creating, you know, very interesting things. We'll see what can be a catalyst to what. So over the last few years, and again, just massive shout out to Vasilios. Over the last few years, we have had several projects that touted themselves as the Ethereum killer. We got NEO, EOS, Cardano, etc. And they've all had huge claims and some are building great things. Don't get me wrong. I love what Cardano is building. However, it looks like the real heir to the throne is working quietly on the sidelines, accumulating one valuable partnership after another. Now, this to me, Algo is a hidden gem. Um, initially, it was really only available on exchanges like Hotbit. If you looked even in, I think, 2019, like later on before it came on Binance US, of course, then. But now you can find it on KuCoin, Coinbase, Binance US, and I think it's definitely going to have some volume and liquidity that will be growing. So, and keep in mind, this is a little biased, so do your own research. You can disagree. That's completely fine, but I'm just sharing some information here. So the man behind the project, I was already talking him up. We know the founder of Ethereum used to be sleeping on the Ripple employee's couch. No surprise. We have EOS. We have Cardano with his genius, Charles Hoskinson. And then Algorand has Silvio Micali. He was actually from Sicily originally. And this is not an exaggeration. I know he said he was one of the greatest cryptographers in the world who has ever lived. This is not an exaggeration. We can see he uh, you know, created zero knowledge proofs, as I've said. He is known for his work on public key crypto systems, all about cryptography, digital signatures, oblivious transfer. You, you can't really get more reputable than this. All right. And notice he was awarded the Turing or Turing Award, Award for 2012 for his contribution to cryptography. And this is a very, very reputable award in the world of cryptography. So the people, if you look in the know, you look at Algorand Foundation, you look at the backing, there's a bunch of MIT faculty involved. This is not coincidental. All right, so why or why projects have been choosing Algorand? Notice we have, let's see, decentralized exchanges like IDEX um, and Stablecoin Tether have decided to create an instance of their protocol on Algorand. Very interesting. Well, why would they do this? Because of Algorand's underlying technology. So remember, we're talking about trying to solve this blockchain trilemma. Today, this is what essentially Bitcoiners and Ethereum holders live by. They live by this limitation that this blockchain trilemma will never get solved. And remember, you have to keep an open mind. We are in uncharted territories. We are literally on the leading edge of everything. So we, you can't put limitations on anything and say this won't happen. It's the same thing that happens. And then 20 years later, science disproves it. So we know 
Algorand delivers high speed, security, and decentralization. The first open source, permissionless, pure proof of stake blockchain protocol. This is something you'll definitely see. And obviously you'll see how Algorand is different from its competitors. Algorand 2.0 offers confirmation of transactions, performing micropayments, and automatic wallet support. Also, just a little fun fact. Um, let me see if I have it up here. We also know Jeremy Allaire, um, CEO of Circle. I'm sure you guys know who this is. And Circle Pay, you know, deep, deep roots with Coinbase. Just understand this game is, you know, it's just a game of chess. He actually noticed and now Ledger now supports USDC for Algorand as well. We know that Algo is supported on, you know, the Ledgers. If you guys have a crypto wallet, links are in the video description. And the cool thing is you can actually stake Algo as well. So I know I talked about this really cool and I've been seeing a lot of talks of them actually increasing the staking rewards. All right, back to the article. So we know Algorand standard asset ASA technology enables you to create tokens that inherit all the same features, security, transaction finality, and performance of the primary token, ELGO. Really interesting. Also kind of reminds me of, you know, similar things that we're seeing with XRP with, uh, you know, actually collateralizing and building CBDCs on top of them. We know that XRP and Ethereum were two assets named in the document of the Central Bank of France to give an example of CB CBDCs being built upon them or actually off of them. So really interesting that this technology is getting to that point where these slow regulators are finally looking towards them as a solution. I mean, we already have one of the countries and I know Marshall Islands is tiny, but they're building on Algorand. That is huge, but nobody's really talking about it. And it's because the price hasn't, you know, 500 X yet. And when it does, it'll be too late. So the people that are doing the research and paying attention now, in my opinion, and of course, our patient will do the best in the space and patience as always takes a long time. All right. Of course, you need an ecosystem that attracts developers. We have things like that for Ripple and Ripple X building and, you know, Basically incentivizing developers and SDKs easily, you know, easy access to build on, you know, assets or not assets, but technologies to bridge for the XRP ledger. Same concept for Algo. All right. We have research proposals. We have grants, 50 million US dollars here, encouraging developers and the activity on blockchain, development tools and infrastructure, application use cases, education and community, you know, typical things we see with successful projects. So, of course, that is an important, you know, very uh, variable as well. Right here, welcoming enterprises with co-chains. And we're gonna go over the use cases just so you know. Algorand realizes they need to provide a private permissioned alternative to welcome more enterprises on their platform. We know that enterprises want privacy. There's gonna be certain parts or sensitive information that they'll need to access. So it can't just be, you know, 100% public. So we need ecosystems to allow the private permissioned basis or these, you know, organizations and networks to communicate with the public and permission list. They'll need to make the private and public chains interoperable. Keyword there, of course, borderless economy, frictionless finance, same, you know, talking points we've seen for several years. All right. Enabling enterprises to isolate and control sensitive data on a private blockchain. Yes. Allow them to safely interact with the world through the interoperable public blockchain. Yes. This is the reason why Elgo added the co-chain feature. Co-chains have the following features. You can go through this. I don't need to go through the tech. You guys can read this as well. But essentially, this Algorand consensus algorithm is very, very interesting and very life-changing compared to a lot of other technologies that are out there, specifically for proof of stake. All right, enhanced automation frameworks. We can go through this if you'd like. We don't really need to talk about that. I want to dive into these valuable partnerships. It's kind of a, a proof of concept or more so just proof that big groups are building and solving real problems. And hopefully this can really scale and turn into something big. So you never know how early, early we are. Nothing is guaranteed. But this is one of my holdings. And this is one of those guys that I'm getting exceedingly bullish on. All right, I'm not looking at current price. I don't care what current price does even six months from now. I'm looking long term. All right, so valuable partnerships. We already talked about the Marshall Islands. And yes, SFB Technologies will be partnering with Algorand Blockchain for Marshall Islands. Just so you know, Marshall Islands is not the biggest country in the world, but it's very, very cool. And their CBDC dubbed SOV. That is not store of value. That is the uh, sovereign. All right, so the government of the Marshall Islands will oversee the SOV and its supply will grow at a fixed rate of 4% each year to keep inflation in check. Notice, programmable money. No more issues of trust. It is all math-based. The SOV will allow the Marshall Islands to efficiently operate in the global economy by circulating alongside the U.S. dollar. Now, you guys can check this for yourselves. Um, of course, I'm just listening to some Silvio videos there. 
Coin Telegraph even has it, no biggie. But Marshall Island seeks to establish a self-sovereign identity with new blockchain-based currency. This SOV talking about the rollout, legal tender. And right here on SOV.foundation, you guys can read more about this if, as well. SOV, short for sovereign. And talking about this, built Invest Asia 2019 Money Supply 2.0, just all about crypto. And notice the Marshall Islands is a rather small country, population of only about 50,000 living and 1,100 islanders scattered across 750,000 square miles of ocean. Looks absolutely beautiful. I've never been, but uh, I did research it quite a bit. So really exciting there if you guys want to check more into that. Next, Meld. So we have Meld partnered with Algorand in the Australian gold industry to tokenize gold and its supply chain. Algorand will host a new stablecoin to track the supply between users and partner members. So they can host a new stablecoin. It can have all the same features as we've already uh, talked about right away, all automatically inheriting all the improvements and upgrades that will be added to Algorand's permissionless protocol. Very, very cool. All right, and again, I have the articles if you want to look into this more. This is right out of Brisbane, Australia, and we'll keep going. Next, we have Dust, D-U-S-T, Identity, Diamond, Unclonable Security Tag. Really interesting. Utilizes nano-engineered diamonds to create an unclonable identity layer to any object. By partnering up with Algorand, Dust will be or will provide scalable and tested methods to authenticate physical objects and validate genuine transactions on the blockchain. Wow, that is uh, that's a very interesting use case, and we are just scratching the tip of the iceberg with the variety of these blockchains, even crypto assets that some of you may be researching in early days. All I believe is a lot of these assets, since we are in such early times, are going to be all or nothing. Some will disappear and go to zero and fade away into oblivion and will lose money, but the winners are going to be heroes, hero or zero. All right, so very interesting there. You can read more about it on this. Next up, we'll talk a little bit about this World Chess Group. We'll just touch on this because I don't want to go into depth and detail since I provided the links. But essentially, we have World Chess is a London-based media company and the official broadcaster of the World Chess Fo or Federation events and a commercial partner of the World Chess Federation, FIDE. And I don't know if it's FIDE or FIDE, but I'm just going to say FIDE. They partnered up with Algorand to open up the first ever Museum of Blockchain in Hamburg which ran from 5th of November 2019 to November 17, 2019. The pop-up museum allowed visitors and participants of FIDE World Chess Grand Prix to learn more about blockchain, cryptography, Algorand. Interesting. Next up, Algorand has entered into a partnership with the Italian Society of Authors and Publishers to create a new platform for decentralized copyright management. Interesting. So we're looking at diamond authenticity. Now we're, we're talking about decentralized copyright management. They will partner up with Algorand to develop and fortify copyright management tools and services. I really think that Algorand is one of those groups on the leading edge. They are working quietly. They don't care about shilling their token. They're just working hard and trying to develop some top grade solutions for the world economy. Very interesting. This is a project I like. I'm not trying to bash other projects, but it's not just all about marketing. They're really working on some things, as we can see. IBMR and ARC, A-R-C-C, the International Blockchain Monetary Reserve, IBMR, is currently working on a macroeconomic project called Asia Reserve Currency Coin, ARC. The goal of ARC is to promote financial inclusion in Southeast Asia and fight corruption by placing an incentive on public reporting of problems. Interesting. This also reminds me of, uh, what was it? Uh, was it, I butcher his name, Deepak Chopra, or uh, Chopra, I, you know his name. Anyways, he talked about HBAR and the whole... Uh, talking about um, suicide awareness. It was really, really cool. And incentivizing people to talk to one another and medical professionals to kind of support each other and support you know other people that need help and need talking to. Really, really cool. A way to incentivize the use of these networks. As part of collaboration, we have Algorand will work on the ARC project. Next, Asset Block. You can go to assetblock.com and read this for yourself in depth and detail. Real estate startup has launched its tokenized property investment platform. Look at all this, guys. I mean, I, I can't even... We're talking about microfinance in Asia. We're talking about uh, property investment platforms. We're talking about diamond authenticity. We're talking about copyright management. This is a whole host of use cases, and these groups are all interested in working with Algorand and Algo. You tell me why. It is because the technology is next level. 
All right, investors will be able to directly exchange Algo's Algorand's native currency for a share in the properties. Once again, the tokenomics speak, there is demand for the currency, the actual token on the blockchain. And then lastly, we have CERN Planet Watch, the first blockchain company company to spin, uh, maybe spin, spin off CERN's partnership program, is building the world's first immutable air quality ledger utilizing the Algorand blockchain and Internet of Things technologies. This reminds me, so this time about air quality, it's also reminding me of energy uh, utilization and decarbonization that EWT and XRP are working on. Interesting, energy web. So we know about that, you know, obviously their goal by 2030, decarbonizing the XRP ledger. I'll tell you one thing, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're in trouble. If those are the initiatives that Ripple and the World Economic Forum are following, Pay attention because Algorand seems like they'll be working on some interesting things as well. And they seem a lot more versatile and can adapt to the ever-growing regulatory uncertainty due to their connections with some big regulators. Let's just say that I think they're very well connected and have the support of gentlemen like Brian Brooks, who essentially oversees the entire United States banking system because of his background at Coinbase and Circle, and they're all buds, in my opinion. So you guys, you know, do your own research. That's just my opinion and dot connecting. They aim to capture crowdsourced data to fight air pollution and store them on Algorand's immutable ledger. Contributors to the ecosystem will be rewarded with the native planet token. Interesting, this is on Algorand's blockchain, all inheriting the same updates, something to pay attention to. All right, so we got asset, asset block, we talked about the air monitoring, and I'm going to have all these links if you want to do some more reading as well. I already took a, a big look at this in the past, been there, done that. So, all right, I think we're pretty much good. Let's see what this conclusion has. And right here, so with the dedicated core team that's focused on delivering the best technology available in the decentralized space, along with some of the most enviable partner partnership lists out there, it's no surprise why Algorand has become such a hot property. Led by one of the greatest living cryptographers in the world, Silvio, Algorand has stormed in out of nowhere and is currently looking like the most definite contender to lead the smart contract race. Now, nonetheless, it is very interesting. Again, guys, this is all written by Vasilios. Philip or Philippe, depending on what country you're from, uh, sir. I think Vasilios is Greek, but I think if uh, that name is in France, I think it's Philippe instead of Philip. But hopefully I didn't butcher it, man. This is a really well-done article, and hopefully this will encourage many people to do their own research. This was dated back in May 2020, so you can only speculate what has happened five or five months from then. So highly encourage you guys to do your own research. Decide for yourselves. Please do not buy anything that I'm talking about without doing your own research. And at the end of the day, I'm excited for this asset class, and Algorand is one of those contenders in my holdings in tandem with XRP and a few others that I'll continue to talk about. If you guys liked me talking about Algo and you want me to talk about any other assets, make sure to give a like, um, subscribe, share this on Twitter. And if there seems to be high demand and you know good feedback from this, I'll start talking about other assets as well, because you best believe I hold a variety of assets. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.